just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph anything. He gets his foot to the target blindingly fast. Shades of Edson Barboza, the foot off the canvas to the target as quick as anyone you'll ever see. Guys don't even see it coming. His opponent's certainly weary of those lightning fast kicks coming into the octagon tonight. This guy has world-class takedown defense. He is incredibly difficult to take down, and once you do get him down, he gets back to his feet very swiftly. Dude, how about the hand speed on this guy? Certainly good fighters feel like they can beat speed with timing and precision, but it's hard to get a beat on this guy. And with the punches and bunches and the combinations which keep on coming, a lot of guys are gonna succumb to that accumulation of punches. He's got the power to go with the speed. This guy, a five-tool player on the feet, but the hand speed certainly is what jumps off the film. This guy has some of the best takedown defense we've ever seen inside the octagon. His timing and his utilization of underhooks and sprawl are world-class. Till the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 223 pounds. Fighting at a Boulder Gorse, Ukraine, the Great! And now the police is a fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, the Destroyer! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lobby. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one night tournament. <laughs> Missed with that right hand. Immediately shoots for the leg. Switching stances here. Superman punch. Very methodical. He's orthodox now. Oh, big left. This could be it right here. Now a right hand. He blocks the puck. Oh, oh, to the face. He's got him hurt here. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Nice jab. And he's looking for that left. Oh, countered there with an upper. Big oh. left hand! He's got to be careful here. Bang! He didn't miss with that uppercut! Oh! Full guard. And how much more can he take? He grabbed a Kimura here. Got a very good Kimura. He's going to lift his opponent's wrist up and towards his back. Putting tremendous pressure on that shoulder. Stunning. And that Stunning. do it. And he really made it look easy. He was forced to tap. He got locked into that submission, and there was nowhere to go. Yeah, Joe, that's about as good as it gets in terms of executing the submission. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and was able to get the tap shortly thereafter. Excellent work to set up and ultimately finish the submission here tonight. Tap. 
And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 28 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, the girl. So there he is, your winner by way of submission, and how good was that? I mean, you talk about maximizing a UFC showcase, and that's a great example of doing just that. You see him sharing a moment here with his coaches, his training partners, and you can be sure that with the hard work done and the hay in the